In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a glossy text effect. First thing we need to do is get our canvas. So go to File, New, and make the canvas whatever size you want to use. And leave it at Background Color. Click OK. And we are going to add a background color to this. So choose your background color. You can choose whatever color you want. Um, your glossy text is actually going to be transparent. So whatever color you choose as your background color is what's going to show up for the glossy text. Use our paint bucket tool and then we're going to fill the background. Choose your text tool and go ahead and just change the color to black for now so we can see it. And you want to choose a font that has pretty thick letters so you can see the glossy effect and whatever size you want. Any sort of font settings you want are going to work fine. And go ahead and type your text. And I'm going to move this and center it on my canvas. Okay, so now comes the fun part to actually make the text glossy. So go over to your layers palette and you want to have selected, if not already, the text layer. Go ahead and double click on this and this is going to open up your layer style dialog box. So first thing we're going to set is for general blending. You want to make sure that it's in normal mode and that you have 100% opacity for that. Go ahead and change your fill opacity to 15%. This is going to make your text almost transparent. You want to use all the channels, none for knockout. You do want to check to have to blend interior effects as a group here and leave these two options checked as well. Keep this at gray. Keep these where they um, look like this. They should be by this a default. If you have changed them in the past, you may need to change them again. We're going to also add a drop shadow here. And drop shadow is essential for any 3D text. This is really what's going to make the text pop off the screen. We're going to use multiply. We're going to use a black color here. You want to change the opacity a little bit lighter. We're going to change it to 65%. For distance, Actually, we're going to take off this global light first. For distance, we're going to change this to 20. And for size, we're going to change this to 15. Leave the spread at 0. Contour, you're going to stick with a linear contour and 0% noise. So that's our drop shadow. Now our inner shadow. Our inner shadow, we are going to choose multiply. And you want to choose a gray color, just a darker gray color here. something similar to this. It does not have to be exactly this color. You could go a little bit darker if you wanted. Opacity, go ahead and let's change this to 80%. Turn off your global light again. Change the distance to 5, ch the choke to 25, and the size to 15. Keep a linear contour and with zero noise. Now outer glow. For outer glow, you want to choose a screen blend mode. You're going to choose 40% opacity. For this color, you're going to choose a lighter gray this time. Something similar to this color. Again, it does not have to be exactly right. It's going to give you a slightly different look, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. You're still going to get that glossy look. A softer technique, 0% spread. The size I'm going to increase to 10 keep my linear contour, 50% range, 0% jitter. Okay, our one last setting here is for bevel and emboss. This is what's really going to make it glossy. You want to choose an inner bevel, smooth, 100% depth, the size we're going to increase to 20, and we're going to soften it to 4 actually because we want a nice soft look for our glossy text. 100% angle, turn off global light, we're going to increase the altitude to 70%. We are going to choose here um, this setting, the co inverted cone. Turn on this option. Screen for highlight mode, white for the color. The opacity, go all the way up to 100%. For shadow mode, we're going to turn to color burn. Nice black color. We're going to turn this opacity down to 25%. You actually might want to go a little bit lower to get a more transparent look. I'm going to actually take that down to 17. Click on OK. 
and you'll be taken back to your canvas and now you have a nice glossy text effect.